In this video, I'll be showing you how to create date buckets on Tableau. These date buckets are going to be ranging from 0 to 30 days, 0 to 60 days, 0 to 90 days, and, and miss days. So the way I'll be creating this is by creating a parameter, a string parameter, which would have each of these different fields. And based on this parameter, I will create four separate calculation, each of them will be connecting to uh, one of these different fields. So 0 to 30 days would have its own calculation, 0 to 60 would have its own, 0 to 90 would have its own as well. And all of these calculations will be linked to uh, one calculated field, which would be linking these calculations to these parameters. So in I have created a data set which contains uh, two columns. One is the item. Uh, this is a unique column, column, and and this one contains days, due dates. So we're going to go on to Tableau, and we will be loading that data set. So we're going to go ahead and do add, so Excel file, and book one. So these are the columns. We're going to go ahead and go on to the sheet, and. Uh, now we see we have due dates and we have the items. Uh, Tableau is aggregating this column since it's numbers. We're going to go ahead and convert it into a dimension and drag these onto our sheet. Uh, we're going to convert the. This is coming as a year, so we're, we're, we need a date. So we're going to convert this into an exact date and put it as discrete. So now we have the dates. So in order to create date buckets, the first step was to create the parameter. So we're going to go ahead and do create parameter. And we're going to call it uh, date parameter date. This will be a string and list. And we're going to list out these those four parameters in 30 days due in 60 days, due in 90 days, and all the ones that have missed days. So now that we have these four parameters, we'll click OK and add and do right click and do show parameter. We're going to convert this into a single value list. Now these are the four parameters. Now these param parameters will not work until we uh, link these to a calculated field. So the second step was to create a calculated field for each of those different parameters. Uh, we're going to call this due in due 30 and the calculation would be it's going to go like if um, okay before we do this we're going to create another calculation. Uh, this calculation will be called number of days and we will subtract the due date from today's date and we are going to go ahead and put this in the text column and we see that these are the number of days um, from now till from the due date till now so March 15th is 31 days so that's correct uh, so now we will be creating those calculated field. So this will be called due 30 days. And the calculation would go if um, number of days is more than or equal to zero and number of days is less than or equals to 30 then one otherwise zero and we're we're gonna go ahead and click okay and we will follow the same step for the next four so we will go ahead and duplicate these four times we're gonna edit out this one this will be called due 60 days and we will just change out the 30 to 60 so go ahead do it the same step for this one 
D ninety days zero to ninety. And the last calculation would be the missed days. So this would be the missed days if number of days is um, less than or equals to negative one, then one, otherwise zero. So this would be all the items that have already passed their mistakes. You will go ahead and click OK. So now that we have these four measures created for each of those different parameters, uh, we will go ahead and create one more calculated field which would link the parameters to these uh, measures. Um, we are going to call this um, days filter and the calculation for this would be uh, case parameter date when due 30 days when due in 30 days then due 30 days when due in 60 We'll go ahead and list out all these four parameters and link them to the calculated fields that we had created. So due in 30, uh, then due in 90 days, then due in 90, and the last one was when missed days, then missed days. And uh, we're going to go ahead and end it with the end and click on OK. Now that we have a, a filter created, we will drag this onto, a, onto the filter shelf. And since the calculation for these was if, if, the, if it meets this criteria, then the number is a one otherwise it's a zero so we will go ahead and drag this days filters to the filter shelf and we will go ahead and go on sum and if the sum is equals to one then give us those values we will go ahead and click apply press ok and now we see that d in 30 days has from zero to 30 the next column would include all the days from 0 days to 60. So these are all the items that are due in 0 to 60 days. Uh, let's can, and the last one is due, and the third one is due in 90 days. So it has all the ones from 0 all the way down to 90. And the missed days would be all the negative calculations. So here you go. So we have 0 to 30, 0 to 60, 0 to 90, and all the items that are negative. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to continue watching these tips and hints, um, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and visit our website passingbi.com. Um, we have quizzes and exams that will help you get better in Tableau and help you pass the certification exam for Tableau as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, leave them on the comment section below and please like and like and subscribe thank you